Leonard. 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 It's new guitar day. As soon as I said it's new guitar day, she was like, what? Jumpy there? Yeah. Okay, we'll get up. It's new guitar day. It's a mystery guitar unboxing. It's gonna be like the mystery battle song unboxing where you guys can actually leave a comment and guess what it's gonna be. Cut to the chase, because I don't wanna... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Mom. Like all of his garbage. Okay. Oh, dude. What if, like, as soon as I opened the box and saw the bag of peanuts, I was just like, nah, and I sent it back. Uh -huh. oh. Oh, all right, guys. Proper video time. That first little part was kind of a mess. <laughs> Shout out to the guy who sold me this guitar for packing it with the most annoying piece of packaging technology that's ever existed. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a fun mess to clean up. Um, anyway, I decided to come to a place with a little bit better lighting to properly do this unboxing. At least I hope it's better lighting. Probably isn't. I would have preferred to do this outside, but as you can see, it do be snowing. But I think the lighting in here is decent enough, at least for the reveal. So as I mentioned, today's video is a very special one because this is one of my few unboxing videos where you actually get to guess what I'm unboxing. It's obviously a guitar, but you guys get to guess what kind of guitar you think it's gonna be. So right now, go ahead and go into the comments and leave your guesses as to what you think is lurking inside of that beautiful case. Seems like it's some sort of single cut. Based off the fact that that's like the majority of my guitars, pretty good chance, but who knows? It might be something different. So go ahead, leave your guesses. So while you guys are leaving those comments, if you go on to enjoy this video at any time, make sure you let me know by leaving a like because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Again, leave a comment, give me your guesses, give me your thoughts and opinions on the guitar as soon as we inevitably reveal it. Share the video around. Make sure you're subscribed if you enjoy the content that I put out on this channel, whether it be guitar, BMX, Balsong, whatever it may be, gaming, porn, who knows. <laughs> Also, real quick, I just want to tell you guys that the other day I actually uploaded another guitar video where I went and explored guitar plugins for the first time, but unfortunately that video got into a little bit of a copyright dispute, and the video ended up getting banned in what might be the four most peaceful, wholesome, progressive countries in the entire world, that being obviously, of course, North Korea, Syria, Iran, and Cuba. And unfortunately, because of that, I had to dispute the claim because I didn't do anything wrong. You see in that video, there's about 10 seconds where I sound a little too much like Gojira, and it ended up getting the entire 20 minute video demonetized, which is obviously fair. So obviously I disputed it, and because of that, the first 42 hours of the video had to be blocked, and then once the block was lifted, YouTube didn't notify any of you that this video was actually uploaded. So unfortunately, that video bombed pretty hard. So if you guys do enjoy my guitar content, and you wanna just see me play more guitar, I'd really appreciate it if you go check it out. I'm really enjoying the plugin world, and I had a lot of fun with Neural DSP's Gojira plugin. I'd appreciate it if you guys go check that out. I'll have the link in the bio. And anyway, I'm rambling on way too much. I've given you guys plenty of time to leave your guesses, so let's go ahead. Without further ado, let's reveal this guitar. Now, I'm sure, as you probably might have seen in the unboxing part of this video, there is an Epiphone logo on that case, but that does not necessarily mean that this is an Epiphone. It could be any myriad of guitar that just so happens to fit in this Epiphone case. We're just gonna have to unbox it and see, so. Right here is looking pretty nice. I think I'm gonna do it right here. All right, boys and girls, you ready? Everybody make sure you left your comment guessing what this guitar is gonna be, because here we go. Three, two, one. Wow. Oh man, look at that monster. Whew. Oh man, let's go up the neck to the best part of this guitar. Look at that headstock. Look at that full-sized diamond inlay. Man, sheesh. <laughs> Dang, I'm glad I chose to do it right here. The lighting's perfect. So as you can see, this is a brand new Epiphone. Les Paul Custom in Alpine White. Look at that brand new, well, new old Kalamazoo headstock. This thing is brand spanking new. The gold hardware is so shiny. I cannot get over this headstock. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. Mahogany body, mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard. Before we do any playing whatsoever, you guys know we're about to have a real nice beauty shop B-roll section. So let's just get right into it. So, this is my brand new Epiphone Les Paul Custom. First off, just listen to how loud this thing is. Mm. 
It's a sign of a good guitar is if it's loud acoustically. But yeah, so this is one of the brand new Epiphone Les Paul Customs. Um, it's a later model 2020. Let's go over the specs. Mahogany body, mahogany neck, ebony fretboard. There's no maple cap or maple veneer on these, just like how the old Customs were made. We got Epiphone Pro Bucker pickups in here. Very nice CTS pots. Nice quality switch up here. Feels pretty good. Loctone hardware. Grover tuners in the back. New old Kalamazoo headstock. Graph Tech knot. I always forget to mention that. Neck is like a slim taper D, although it's not that flat. Now, if you're looking for your own Les Paul Custom, you'll probably realize that they're a little hard to find right now. Places like Sweetwater and Guitar Center and, and all the big instrument sellers, they've got, these are pretty much been sold out for quite a while. So you're probably asking how I got a hold of one of these. Well, on Reverb, they're still selling a few of them. There's some stores that are selling them brand new, and then there's some people that are selling them used. Um, I was planning on getting one from one of the stores that was selling them brand new, but they all sold out before I was ready to buy it. But then there was this one for sale that was used. So this is a used guitar, even though it doesn't look like it at all. And the guy was selling it because he got it from Sweetwater in November, and I guess it just ended up being too heavy for him. It's a pretty hefty guitar, but still, he only had it for like two months before he decided to sell it. So yeah, it's probably a little weird that he decided to sell it so quickly, but I don't know. I have it now. And then the cool thing was it came with a hard case, which these usually don't, so... And the case is like brand new too, which is awesome. It's not too heavy for me. It might be a little hard to tell based on my build, but I'm not exactly a weak person. But I have talked way too much in this video without actually playing this thing. So let me set up my little new guitar plug-in set up and uh, we'll get to playing on this thing. So earlier when I was being a massive tool ton, you know, like the video and subscribe and all that stuff and I was talking about the one video that got banned, the main topic of that video was that I started using guitar plugins and the one I was using was the Gojira plugin by Neural DSP. Unfortunately, my two week trial for that plugin has expired. So now this time we are gonna be trying out Neural DSP's Fortin Cali Suite and the Corey Wong archetype. So yeah, just letting you, just letting you know. All right, we got the Corey Wong plugin loaded up. All right, let's see what this Les Paul Custom sounds like. Archetype. Now let's move on to Fort and Cali Suite. <laughs> You guys already know it's got to be in every guitar video.
That'll get the blood flowing. <laughs> that is gonna wrap up this little unboxing and playing demo of my brand new Epiphone Les Paul Custom. Excuse the playing if it's a little sloppy. My hand was hurting a little bit more than usual today. Yeah, this definitely will not be the last video on this. Um, yeah. My hand hurts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you let me know by leaving a like because it really does help with the algorithm. Leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions. Share the video around. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at DenDenBMX. That's it. Yeah, okay. I'm... Oh, I'm tired. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.